I would like to talk about what is our ultimate destiny in life. Where are we going in life? And why? Why have we experienced what, we, what we've experienced? Like, what is this life, you know? So, from my understanding of what I've experienced, I've seen that life is like a dream but at, its, at another level see it's like there's so many different layers to this right so on one layer there is the physical reality where everything is real everything's material everything is uh solid you live for a certain amount of time you have experiences and then you die and that's it and then you have another layer where you start to see that there's a little more to life than just materialism and getting things and acquiring things and you start to wonder to yourself you know like why why am i even looking for anything like what is it that i'm looking for you know like am i looking for like why do i think that when i do this or do that i'm gonna feel happy or uh, why do i think that if i do that or this or if I acquire this like what is it actually going to give me you know like uh, if I go and get a sports car and then see it goes like this right the material like so, so the first thing is with the okay with the third density consciousness what happens is that you want to experience all these things right and then you come to a point where you experience so much and you have so many ups you have so many downs and you realize that you never actually got what you were looking for. You actually never felt happy. You, or you felt little bursts of happiness, but you never had a lasting sensation of joy or peace or tranquility in your life. So then you start questioning things and you start going, okay, like, you know, I've had this sports car, I've had fame, I've had wealth, I've had pleasure, I've had all these things and yet you're still not happy. So what else is there? You know, like what is it that can bring me happiness? So then you start questioning things and you go, okay, so obviously it's happiness that I want because I'm seeking all these things thinking that it's gonna bring me happiness. So how can I give myself happiness? So you start looking more for experiences and for, you know, being with people and like having these like connections they call that fourth density is like love and understanding is when you start looking for connection with everybody and everything and you start looking for a sense of wonder and amazement in life and you start going places and you start traveling around and you start seeing all these beautiful sights and you start to see that there's a, another beautiful layer to life right but then still you start to realize that the sun always rises and the sun always sets so if you're gonna get attached to the sunset or to the sunrise, then whenever it goes away, there's gonna be a sense of loss in yourself in some way, right? And so it's like, if you get attached to people, then when the people die, you're gonna feel a sense of loss. And if you get attached to places, when those places change, when different people come in or different kinds of energies that are introduced, and you're attached to that, then you're going to experience suffering, right? So obviously the things aren't gonna give you suffering. I mean, aren't gonna give you happiness. Uh, the people aren't gonna give you happiness. The places aren't gonna give you happiness. The experiences aren't even gonna give you happiness. And then like, as you go higher, like, you know, like the, the states of happiness can last longer and they can experience more and more, you know? And it's like, you go to the beach, and you have a full day of blissful beach day, right? And it's really nice and everything's nice you call that bliss but it's really like it's fleeting because once you go to bed then the day's over and you know sitting inside you can even feel nice like listening to the waves and oh i'm at the beach you know but then the mind goes oh but i gotta go back to work or i gotta go back to school or i gotta go do this other thing or something like that you know and so you lose that 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 sense and so in this state there's still a sense of grasping, longing in experience and in people. So you start to move 
into another kind of desire. You start to figure out, okay, these things aren't gonna give me any happiness or pleasure. These people aren't gonna give me anything. These experiences aren't gonna give me anything. Even the beauty in life is still fleeting. So where does this happiness come from? Like where, 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 how can I give myself a state of happiness where it, does, it starts to just not go away, you know? And then so your ideas, your, um, your eyes, your, your, uh, your seeking starts to move from outside and you start to say, okay, hold on a second. If it's not outside of me, then it must be inside of me because I know that I've experienced it before. You see what I'm saying? Like I know in my, in my heart that I've experienced happiness and I know that it's real and I know that it's actually more real than my suffering is. So if I've experienced happiness and it's more real than my suffering is, then obviously there's some truth to this, right? Like that, like, and then so you start to say, okay, what is that? What does that even mean? And it's like, okay, so maybe that means that my own nature is happiness and joy because when I feel that, I feel right, you know, I feel good, I, it feels right. So my soul, my nature, it, it thinks to itself, okay, my, my nature is actually bliss and happiness because when I feel that, I know that that's right, you know? And then so you start to say, okay, if it's not coming from outside myself, then it must come from inside myself. So you still go out and you still go seeking around, looking at things, but instead of looking outward at the stuff, you start to go inside yourself and you start to look inside yourself and you start to say, okay, this is a beautiful sunset and I'm feeling this beauty and I'm feeling this love, but where am I feeling it? It's inside myself. It's in my own heart. So I'm looking in myself and I'm saying, okay, this feeling's in me. This has to be somewhere inside of me, right? So it's like you have like a, like, like, like your soul could be like a room, right? Or like a mansion. And it's got so many different rooms in it. And you've been chilling in the basement for a long time. And it's been really dark. And you've been like scratching at the walls trying to find all this stuff. And it's like trying to find happiness, you know? And then all of a sudden you get this little beam of light that shoots through and then you see this little light like going on the ground and you're like oh that's it that's it oh there it goes there it goes and then you you still are stuck in the dark because you're you're confused you're thinking that that light was was the happiness when in reality actually that light was coming from the room above and the only reason it was coming across if you want to put it like the sun coming through right and it's like the sun comes through and it goes through but in the room above actually there the the windows open you know so when you when you go and you open the door and sometimes you need somebody to tell you where the door is you know what i mean like somebody who's been in the basement somebody who who understands the whole mansion you know and you need them to get you, uh, to get you situated i mean like you know they know that you've been in the basement but like maybe you were enjoying it maybe you maybe they even knocked on your door and they said hey man like you want to come out and the person got, got afraid, they got frightened, and then they ran away, and then they go into the corner, and then they just like keep trying to stay there, right? Eventually, the owner of the mansion is gonna come knocking, and he's gonna say, hey, and this is like God, you know, in the form of the guru or whatever, and then so he's gonna say, hey, like, you know, there's a door over here. When you open this door, then there's a stairwell that goes up, and once you get to that next room, it's a lot lighter in there. Even when you open the door, it still illuminates the room, right? So it's like the guy can come and open it and the light, the person hasn't seen light in so long that it's so bright that it overwhelms their consciousness they can't even see anything, right? So it's like, they have to be ready, you know? Because the door has to be open and then instead of them running, as soon as they see the light, they have to be able to accept it. And then once their eyes adjust, they can see the person there who's opening the door for them and they realize that person actually is their own soul, their own self, their own love inside themselves, right? And it could be in form in, in the form of the guru, but actually in reality, it's it's actually just the self, you know, in that form. But anyways, so they, they open the door and they're like, hey man, you've been in here for a really long time. Like, you need some food? Like, like we've got some food cooking upstairs, you know? Like, come on, come on up and then like have a little meal with us and just have a, have this experience, you know? And you can come back down here, it's okay. And then so they come upstairs for a second and they experience that and they, they take a little meal with you and they go, wow, this is so nice, like I feel so good. And then they go, okay, but I gotta go back to my room. And then you go, okay. 
and then they go back down and they go into their room and then they experience their room again and then they, they keep doing this until they finally realize that actually they can just stay up on the other room with you guys and they can start living in that room and then they decide at some point to leave the old room behind and to go into a new room right all this is happening inside of the inside of your own house you see and it's like I, there's even more houses outside of the house but I'm, I'm only just speaking about your own house right now so this is the moment where the fifth density consciousness starts to come into play so what fifth density consciousness is is when you start to realize that these these desires that you have these these desires for happiness and everything is all happening inside yourself and you know the basement is the representation of the root sacral solar plexus chakras you know solar plexus is when that little beam of light comes through you know the sacral is when you're when you're feeling pleasure in the in the darkness and then like and then the, the root is where you're like feeling like that kind of like you know just like uh you know worried insecure or secure and then once you open the door when that light comes in if you allow that light to bathe you then your root starts to face upward and what that means is that you start to feel secure because you know that there's somebody else there who loves you and they want to help you you know and that's like christ you know that could be like krishna that could be like uh guru it could be like god it could be whatever you want to call it you know so that person is there and they're trying to usher you up right they're trying to take you back to to a higher level in your own house right and the only thing they want to do is just show you around you know but you know like being stuck in the dark for so long it could be difficult to be able to you know understand that so anyways so you start going upstairs and you start experiencing this other thing and that's like when the wisdom starts to happen right because once the light has been turned on then the light is like your own inner self right so it's like once you turn on the light then you understand that that your nature is love and happiness and wisdom and understanding and all these other things and you start to seek that in yourself and you stop seeking it outside yourself and so that's this is the wisdom right the wisdom shows you that actually when you're watching that sunset and you're seeing this beauty and it's so beautiful you actually are experiencing that beauty inside yourself and the sunset's only acting as a catalyst to allow you to experience that feeling that's native inside yourself anyways. So once you stop allowing the catalyst to influence your state of consciousness and you start being able to choose your own state of consciousness, which means that you've, you've, allowed, you've allowed the master of the house to, 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 to take you around and you've looked into the rooms and you found what rooms that you like which ones feel comfortable to you, which ones feel nice to you, you know? And then, uh, cause like some of the higher rooms could feel, you know, like some people don't like being that high off the ground, you know? So it's like, maybe they like being a little bit more close to the ground and that's okay too. But as long as the, the light is on, it's okay, you see? And then so, because, cause you feel peace and you feel like you, you feel happy and you feel like blissful and things. And it's just different types of bliss, you know? But, um, Cause like, I mean, who can sit on the roof for the entire time, you know? Like you can't just like go and sit on the roof and then just live there all the time. You know, I mean, you, you could, I guess, but like you wouldn't really be a part of the house anymore and you wouldn't be able to interact with anybody. So it's like, it's best to be able to, you know, at least stay inside of the rooms if you want to be in this world or in this, in this mansion, you know? And then so once you get into the point of the fifth density, then you have the ability to choose and some people call it fifth dimension, but I, I, I don't think that's the right term because it's actually a higher dimension than fifth, but it's like, uh, it's fifth density. So it's wisdom density. And uh, so basically, once you have that, that unlocked in yourself, then you have the ability to choose which part of the house that you want to be in, or basically which chakra you want to sit in, which, um, which what type of energy do you want to represent? You know, do you want to feel blissful and happy and love loving? And sit in the heart you know do you want to feel like you can communicate and express everything and be one with everybody and have this like loving joy and happiness and everything then sit in the throat and do you want to feel like you're literally becoming one with everybody like where the consciousness is all merging together and everybody's starting to experience each other becoming one being basically then you go into the third eye do you want to just like cease all existing and just be complete absolute perfect bliss consciousness absolute 
infinity forever than going to the, the I'll go on the roof, you know? And then, like, you can actually even come back down. Like once you go on the roof, then you can just like walk back down, you know? I mean, not a lot of people are able to do that because like it takes a special type of like evol evolution, a special soul uh, to be able to do that. It's not special, but it's like, you know, you gotta be really highly evolved in order to be able to, they call it like an Ishvara Koti or it's like, that's what Ramakrishna called it. And it means like a ever free soul, uh, one who's already been liberated basically. But anyways, so um, the point that I'm making though is that like the fifth density consciousness, like it's uh, when the light gets turned on, then you have the ability to be able to roam around inside of the inside of the mansion. And all this is obviously is metaphorical. Um, so the sixth density consciousness is when when you start to realize that the entire mansion and the master of the mansion are you. So it's like it's it's your mansion actually and the master of the mansion actually was only just a projection of your own consciousness and that that person was actually just you trying to get you out of your own hell or your own lower self your own lower state of consciousness and yes they were real and they are real but like they're they're not identified with the, with this with this realm you know like so it's like they're not like they're 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 a part of this world but they're not a part of this world at the same time because their consciousness is somewhere else their consciousness is is already one with the entirety of like not only that mansion but all the other mansions too but um they like they were acting as the master for all of them basically and they're just taking different forms of whatever makes makes the person feel comfortable basically you know in order to be able to help them like go where they need to go and um, so anyways, the sixth density consciousness where, where all the stuff starts to merge together in the way that like basically all the people inside the mansion realize that they're all part of the same mansion and then they start working together and they start doing stuff together in coordination with each other. They call that a social memory complex, right? And then so they start coordinating together in order to be able to do stuff. And um, so they start working together and then they start being able to create maybe a bigger mansion or a more blissful mansion or like a, something like that, you know, like they start working on it so that they can also help other people. And then once they all merge their consciousness together, then they can actually project into other people's mansions and open their basement doors and basically take the form of whatever they feel comfortable at. You see, it starts to all merge together. So, so once you enter into that state of consciousness, then there's no more separation. So like the guru, the one who opens the door, you become that and then you start opening the door for everybody and you start showing them the light and then once that starts happening then all of them go through that process and then their consciousness merges with yours and then all the consciousness in the universe starts to merge together and then when that happens then they call it merging into the seventh density which is basically just like turning back into god basically like like you basically you've turned your consciousness towards god and then you started to experience everything that there is, there is to experience. And then you start to experience all the other people's experiences of everything they've experienced. And then all that comes together. And eventually, after an eternity, it merges back into the same being that it was before. And then it goes into timeless infinity. And then it starts a new creation. It does it all over again in a higher octave. And it basically just does the exact same thing but just in a new way that's completely different than anything that we've ever experienced ever before so and then it does that infinitely for all of eternity the same way that we go to sleep and wake up and it never dies it always is just changing its form and uh changing back into formlessness and just kind of going back and forth forever and uh that's basically what it ends up being but um uh, so there's no more fear don't worry about it like they're like you never actually die. You actually are eternal. Uh, your consciousness is ever pervasive, ever conscious, ever new bliss. It's always gonna be there. It never didn't exist. So you're okay. You know, don't be afraid. Like everything's okay. And this life is perfect as it is, but do understand that it could be just as wonderful as you can make it. You just gotta turn on the light and start visiting some of the different rooms and then you'll realize that there's nothing to fear because you've just been in the dark for the whole time and uh you know 
like once you turn on the light then all that fear goes away because you realize that it was actually all you and uh how are you supposed to hurt yourself like you can't destroy yourself because you're ever existing ever conscious ever new bliss so how could you destroy yourself like even even in the darkness in the deepest depths of the darkness you still never actually were able to destroy yourself either so you've always been here you'll never not be here and uh the only place that we can go from here is up so don't worry about it and everything is all good god bless you guys jay Shri krishna